now spawning in the nine o'clock position of the map Catalina we have the red Zerg player playing from team Skillforge it is Senin his opponent who has spawned in the one o'clock position as the blue Zerg player it is going to be Ramses I'm not quite familiar with that team name but well they have got a pretty nice decal going there but he is from CYC so no 10 pools coming down no nine pools or anything like that the overlord is in production so everything is looking very standard so far and let's see what these players are up to this is of course still a best of one so the winner of this game will take the victory and the loser will be out of the tournament the winner will move forward to the round of 32 so let's see who that is going to be. Is it going to be Senin or is it going to be Ramses? In a Zerg versus Zerg, a lot of different things can happen, but Micro is going to be very important in the Zergling and Bailing battles. And if we come into the later game, the Roaches and the Hydalis are going to be very important with the positioning, of course. But Ramses is feeling very confident. He is going to go for that 15 hatchery to open things up with so is Sen and both are getting down those hatcheries on a, in a very decent timing right there so completely mirrored so far focusing on the on that macro first oh excuse me my throat is really working against me sometimes but seems fine now again so let's see what the follow-up is going to be I do expect that a spawning pool will be next Rams is already putting his down a little bit later for Senen so he can squeeze out that extra drone it looks like. But let's have a look. Everything is looking very standard so far and completely mirrored once again. Senen is getting that gas geyser right now and at the same time we do see Rams take his own gas geyser. So this can still be anything but no completely gasless opening to go straight into roaches but I do believe that we will see that zerging speed being researched for both these players we might even see a bailing nest come down for some very early aggression it has been pretty popular going for a going for a big speed link all in but let's see if this is actually something that we will find in this game getting those two hatcheries is going to be pretty important for those injects for those larvae for those zerglings of course because they are not the most amount of hp that you can get for your minerals so let's see both players will get their double queens going get another overlord and get the first initial zerglings out to scout out their opponent's base because those overlords have to be very careful at this point because a queen can pop out at any moment and a queen off of creep still going to be faster than an overlord so if an overlord is out of position and the queen is going to be able to chase it down he will lose his life right there but they will both know where they have spawned and their scouts will arrive at approximately the same time they will scout out that the zergling speed is going to be pretty evenly distributed but Senna not even going into the main base he picked up one of the uh, one of the drones already and the zerglings of Ramses went for that queen that's actually very annoying. It can really get into your head with the Zerglings already killing off one of the drones. And looking at the kill tab, yeah. Senen has already killed all of his Zerglings. Senen has kept his own Zerglings alive, however. And Ramses is now going for that bailing nest. It has been positioned inside the natural base. And I'm not quite sure if that was scouted. Now let's just have a look at that. Yeah, the bailing nest was already scouted. Zergling speed is going to be done for both these players very soon. And Ramses is producing a lot of Zerglings right now. He's pulling them up at the natural. And he's looking to go for a very big attack right now. But Senen, he has an evolution chamber at the front. He did not go for a bailing nest himself. So he needs some sort of wall off to really make this happen. Because there are a lot of Zerglings now going to come across the map. He's, oh, he's really walling those off very awkwardly, I do have to say. There are a few evolution chambers com coming down. No bailings just yet. So the queens and the zerglings are here for the early defense. He's creating a choke with those queens. But he has to make sure that it is airtight. A lot of bailings even being cancelled right now. With that wall of gum coming down, he's not going to break that location anytime soon. Second evolution chamber now finishes. He went for the second spine crawler even and cancels one of them. Really good decision right there. And behind this, Senen has a lot of his own speedlings. 
He is supply blocked, however, he did lose one of his overlords that I do believe. And a third base gonna be put down for Ramses behind this. The overlord of Senan is going to scout this out. And that was a lot of units produced actually by Ramses that did not do a whole lot, but Senan was was forced to produce a lot of those units himself. He's going into plus one, plus one for his roach. He's starting his lair a lot later than Ramses is right now. But the roach weren't already going to be done for him. And even the work account quite a bit higher for Ramses right now. Not going for that ba not going for that bailing nest. Really put him on tilt. He really needed to produce quite a few buildings to really make that happen. But now the Roach Warren for Senan is going going to come down to. Zerglings have tried to avoid all of the overlords to get to that third base and get the denial on that. But that third base is already pretty high on life. And there are Zerglings and Bailings in position. The overlord is going to tell him quite a bit though. And let's see. Oh, the Zerglings and Bailings actually moved away. He should have known that they were somewhere on the map. But these Zerglings are... Oh, two Zerglings for one Bailing. Not really the best trade that he can hope for. But the Zerglings do get out of there. Third base is going to be on the way for Senan. And I do believe that Ramses is in a pretty decent position. His upgrades are quite a bit later. Because Senan prioritized them over getting to the lair. That's why Ramses' road speed is also going to be quite a bit faster. And also the third base can be saturated quite a bit faster. But looking at the work account, still relatively equal. Ramses has two extra, two extra drones at this point. Well, eight extra drones right now because a bunch of them just popped. But Sanon has a lot of roaches going to come out now too. Going to drone up that third base, which has just finished up. And looking at that unit count. Zergling count will not matter all too much there completely equal right now the roach count is also completely equal seven queens however for Sen, and that's a lot of queens for sure and that's a very big investment maybe he lost two of them or something like that he's still operating off of three gas geysers while ramses is getting his fourth down now too so let's see tutu has started for Sen, and the plus two attack upgrade is going to come through for ramses right now but that means that there is a current upgrade advantage for Senan. He has 1-1 one, one done for his roaches. And he's only... And, well, let's see how many roaches that he that he does have. 16 against 9. So definitely the advantage for Ramses in this uh, in this situation too. But there are roaches on the way for Senan. 7 more on the way right now. And positioning is going to be pretty important. 3 roaches going to run by towards that 3rd base. Trying to get some harassment done. 1 gets picked off for free. But at the same time the roaches and Zerlings are barreling down towards that natural base. He's trying to get Senan out of position as much as possible. He does get one drone for his efforts, but he loses two roaches for that. Not really a worthwhile trade, if, in my opinion, if you ask me. And there is a lot of energy on these queens. They can transfuse all day, every day. Wow, he is going to crush this army of Ramses. And he can chase this out. 2-2 two -two is halfway of the way done for Senan. He's playing a very passive style while Ramses is trying to poke and prod. And see where he can find Senan's weakness. But I would not be surprised even to see a very quick fourth base come down from this position. Because he has such a great defensive posture. Oh, he should transfuse that queen. There he goes. And another few roaches do get shaved off right there. Again, he does go for the run by with two of those roaches. He has to get the queen out of there. Losing it is not going to be worth it. But it does get focus fire down. And those roaches will pay for it with their lives. So very, some very nice harassment go, going to come down. But not too much damage has been done. The supplies are still dead even. Senan going into that infestation pit. His 2-2 is about to finish up. So he wants to go straight up to a hive, I do believe. So he can get the 3-3 three, three going. And, get, and just further extend that upgrade lead that he has. Fourth base has been put down. This time before Ramses has gotten his own third base. And again, three roaches trying to harass that drone line. Of course, three roaches because three roaches will will one shot a drone, and getting those drones quickly is going to be very important, uh, very powerful to get rid of them very quickly. And Senan takes a pretty decent engagement right there. The roaches of Ramses are now split off. He has to be very careful not to get sandwiched by them later. But the roach count for Senan just so insanely high. He has that upgrade lead for sure. And he is chasing this army back home. He is maxed out and he wants to trade away his units. 
He can go for him faster because he does have that infestation pit already. And he has started his hive. He has to be very careful moving up this ramp, however. But he can set up a very nice concave at the top of that ramp. However, he cannot move down that ramp. That is going to be very painful for him. But so is the positioning for Ramses that he cannot go up that ramp. Otherwise, Senan would just be killing him straight off. But the hive is now halfway of the way done. 2 2 is done for Senan. Even Hydra is being added on to this army of Ramses, actually. That's a very nice move. You have to be careful not to get too many of them because those roaches are the tanking unit in this setup. But do we already have the infestation pit come down? No, there is not going to be an infestation pit just yet. He did get the Hydralis then. There's the fourth base now finally on the way for Ramses. But he is looking at a Senan who already finished up his fourth base. However, the Roaches of Senan are so very far out of position. He has to be very careful with how he treads on this map. But the creep spread has reached very far into the map for Senan. He wants to take that engagement because he is so far, very far up in upgrades right now. But fighting in the choke is going to be suicide. Now he split off a lot of those roaches to go harass that third base. He's going to pull the entire army of Ramses back to defend this. But again, three roaches at the fourth base location. Three roaches, oh four roaches even, at that third base location. And both of them still going to be maxed out. But seven infestors and pathogen glands on the way. He started those roaches in good timing, so he could start. So he could immediately fungal with those infestors if the roach came out. But Senan has been looking for the engagement as of late. He's adding on his own Hydralis den right now, and oh, very nice burrow micro from Ramses right there. How many workers was he able to pick off? Senan killed off six in this game, and Ramses only three. So still looking at the resource loss step. 5,000 resource lost for Ramses, 3,000 3, lost for Senan. And with this creep spread reaching so far into the map, yes, it is going to benefit Ramses with the speed uh, with the speed boost too. But Senan has a lot of vision because of this. He sees that this army is going to be on the way. And there is the fungal, or oh, a beautiful fungal coming down. But he has to be very careful not to move through the choke too much. He has to be very careful with how he wants to take this engagement. The Hydralisk are going to be very powerful in a choke like this. But those Roach already taking so much damage. They really need a burrow and regenerate that health. Of course, Roaches will regenerate their health quite a bit faster when they are burrowed. But another Roach run by towards that fourth base. The Queen is even burrowing to make sure that he does not die off. He does not want to miss any of those injects. And does Senna know about the fourth base? No, he does not know about it. But the Roaches of Rams are going to return back home. And what is Senan going to remax on? He has a lot of open supply to get those Hydralis out. He is getting the upgrade, the range upgrade for those Hydralis right now. And the 3-3 three, three upgrades. The tech advantage for Senan is, is going to carry him on this map. He already got 7 of those Hydralis out already. And his micro with Roach and Hydralis, I know to be a fact to be very impressive he pulls back the hydralis when the roach numbers get thin so his opponent cannot just snipe those hydralis and keeping those hydralis alive for another battle is very powerful in a matchup like this and Senan even going to go up to that spire would not be surprised to see a greater spire come down very soon once it is done because brute lords against a roach hydra composition is going to be very powerful and if there's no Spire for Ramses, he's going to have a lot of trouble in really dealing with that. But Senan is pushing forward once again. He has to be careful not to be caught out of position once again. And with the amount of chokes, with the amount of Rams that is on this map, even this can be considered a choke because the amount of roads that is currently on the map is just insane. 37 against 51. But there are quite a few more. Well, there, the Hydralis count is actually pretty even right now. Senan is sitting on a lot more drones. He has to be very careful with that, but he is already producing quite a big bank. But with having that better economy for quite some time, he is going to have a smaller army to fight with, and he is looking to pick a fight once again. Those infestors of Senan have a lot of energy, and he's he wants to move in, it looks like. Oh, the infestors do get fungled by the infestors of Ramses. The roaches are going in right there. 
Xanon has taken the supply advantage, but there's a remax of Rams already. 29 more Roach on the way, but he decimates this. This army will get decimated of Ramses, and Xanon is just busting through. He has the plus three uh, attack upgrade already done, and he is remaxing on 25 more Roaches. His Spire is done. Will we see the Greater Spire be morphed in right now? There we go. He does add it. I can't get it in my screen properly. But the Greater Spire is going to be on that way. And that means that Rams is going to be on a time bomb. 100 more seconds before Brute Lords can make their entrance onto the field. And without Corruptors of your own, it can be very difficult to engage that. Because look at the bank that Senen has right now. He has a lot of money for a lot of Brute Lords. He just needs to open up more supply for that. And there is a little timing where those Corruptors are not going to do anything for Senen. But five of them are on the way. He wants to trade away a few of his units once again. He puts a lot of Invested Terrans to buy time from the units coming from the natural. Oh, the Roach are on top of those Hydralis. This is a horrible fight for Senen. He's losing a lot of those expensive Hydralis. But he can afford to trade away many of them away like this. He just wants to open that supply. The Grey Aspire is almost going to be done, and this is a fight that Ramses will win. Does he still have those Infestors? He still has three on the map, while Ramses has none. He is on the Roach Hydralis composition. Twelve more Hydralis on the way for Senen right now. Those f five Corruptors are going to be added to the five Corruptors that he already had, and five Broodlords are being morphed on the map. The plus one attack upgrade for those air units also being researched. And I don't believe that this was scouted. Was this seen? The Spire still not being spotted. He might have seen one of the Corruptors. But the army of Ramses once again. He is adding on Vipers. But that is not going to do all that much against Brute Lords. He has, does not have the Spore Crawlers to pull in those Brute Lords. And let them be killed off. So those Vipers for the Blinding Clouds. They're not really going to do anything. But he has one Infester. He has 10 Hydralis in this army of his. But once Senna makes the next push, it is looking very dire for Ramses. Yes, he does have the supply advantage. And Senna is lacking that gas a little bit. But he is getting his 6th base up. Or wait, his 5th base. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little bit ahead of myself right now. Zerkling's being sent forward to scout out the positioning of the army to see if there is actually a base here and I do believe that this is actually the first time that he scouts this base because every harassment setup that Senen went for was at a third base but the Brute Lord army is making their way forward I really like some Star Wars music with the Imperial March right now because this is a Doom army oh and we have a big lag spike oh not too big and yeah can't help all of them but the hide list they are sitting ducks right there they have to be very careful but the big engagement is going to happen right now a lot of brute lords against roach hydra i'd give that advantage to the brute lords any day of the week and he is going to be very m mad when he sees those brutelings and there's the gg Senin takes the game and moves forward to the round of 33